Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to be an introduction to curves, a pretty useful tool and one of the things I use most in Photoshop. The image for this tutorial comes from Steve Poliak on Flickr and is used under the Creative Commons license. So check out his portfolio. So the reason I chose to use this image is because it looks like a pretty typical family portrait. A fairly good picture, but it's dark and a little lacking in contrast and a little touch up in curves can improve it quite a bit. So to get into curves, you can go down to here and click this little button on the bottom and click curves. And then you will be given this curves dialog box up here. Now, first when working in curves, this box is pretty small. So I like to work in the larger version. If you click right here, you will be given a large version of the curves. And another thing I like to have is this here graphing background. Uh, if you click Alt and click the graph, you're given extra grid lines so you can be more accurate and see what you're doing. So transposed on the back of the curves are, is the histogram and you can't edit this. This just shows you where your pixels are. If you don't know what a histogram is, check out the histogram tutorial. And with this histogram, you can see on the right hand side here that there is no pixels in the white area which means there's zero white in this image. You can see that there is a little bit over here on these waves and they could be white, but it's not really enough to show on the graph. And with very, very few exceptions, every image should have a good range of pixels from total black to total white. So one safe edit you can do to basically every photo is grab the end bar and move it to the start of the histogram. And that brightens it up if we look at the difference so before I go any further, I'll explain how curves work. This is a table or a graph of your shades of black to white in the photo. On the left is black and on the right is white. And so when we're grabbing the curve line here, I'm saying that all these pixels, which are this shade of gray, which is around, say, 200, if I pull it up, I'm going to change them to a lighter color. And because it's a curve, when I pull this spot by clicking and dragging on the line, I'm also pulling all these other spots on the graph. I can add another node here and pull them down if I didn't want those pixels adjusted. And so if I were to pull on this very edge and pull all the pixels up, it would create a totally white image because I have adjusted these pixels, which used to be black, and made them white. We can see on the side here white or in the same way if we pull all these pixels that used to be at a white level and this is in a way I suppose their new reading if I pull them all the way to black all the pixels turn to black and so to move this starting node you can also edit down here we're saying that all these pixels that used to be this gray tone are starting at absolute white and then everything else is placed in between there you can see on their faces that it is a little dark so their faces will be in this area somewhere. You can grab a node, click and just drag up to bring these pixels lighter. And that looks quite a bit better there. Photoshop CS4 has a cool function here. If you click on this hand tool, you can click and drag on anywhere on the image and it'll adjust exactly that shade of pixels. If So for example, if I wanted to make his shirt darker, I can click and pull down and if you look at the graph, you can see that those pixels are being darkened. And if I wanted to make the sky lighter, I can click and drag up. Also, when you just have the cursor over the image with this eyedropper tool, you can see where those pixels are on the graph. If you look, zoom in on the graph now, you can see that there's a little circle bobbing around the curve. That's where these pixels are located in the graph. So to get rid of a node, these last ones I did were a little too extreme. I'll, you can just grab and pull them off the graph, this one. So to edit this photo, I would, after first starting with the white and maybe moving in the black as well a little bit to the start, I would bring up the midtones, which is where their faces are, a good deal, and maybe make a little more contrast. And that's about it. We can look at the before 
and after and you can see the quite a bit of difference and it would take only two seconds when you save a file with a curves layer it'll want to save the image as a tiff uh, which is a good idea if you want to come back and edit the image you'll still have this curves layer up top so you can adjust it if you want to save it for sending to someone in an email or on the web you'll have to save it as a jpeg and check out our tutorial if you're not sure how to do that and the last thing if you want to reset your settings you can press this button here and it'll take off all the nodes on the curve that's it check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com <laughs>